Buccaneers, Packers, and the snow shows no signs of stopping as we get set for today's game. The Packers are back deep, waiting for the kick return. The Buccaneers setting up here for the kickoff. is a big-time return. And now we've got what you'd call the widely veteran at quarterback about to head onto the field for the first time today. Yeah, when you're a quarterback like this and, and you've had success, you go out in the field, you can't wait for the game to start because you veterans think only good things are going to happen to them. So they're confident and ready to go. Always a chess match early in the game to see what your opponent is going to do. Good run that time by the offense. They pick up good yards. Maybe the defense will have to start crowding the line of scrimmage more. The give. He's brought down. The NFL is about situations. A good job by the runner knowing where the first down was. Gets it there, and he moves those chains. Now first and ten. Gives it to him again. They knock him down, and he's still two yards short of the first. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. The Packers will take the snap from the 35. They'll mark the football at the 22. The Packers' offensive line is just whooping some tail today, aren't they? What a job up front. That helps the running back get in space, get down there, and pick up a big game. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Offense lines up here. Let's go! And the second quarter is underway with this snap. They go to the right side. That's a gain of seven. When you're an offensive lineman and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying we're tougher than you are. We're just going to come right at you. This is turning into quite a drive, Phil. Uh, nice job, Jim, by the offensive coordinator, just mixing the plays up and keeping the defense off balance. The Buccaneers with a nickel look here on defense. First down and ten. Six on the board for the Packers. Good job on that touchdown. That puts them ahead. And it's always, of course, better to be ahead than behind. The Packers for the extra point. Count it. The Packers did a great job on the ground on that last drive, putting up over 60 rushing yards. Packers now ready to kick the football down the field. Fields the football at the 8. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. The Buccaneers now bring their offense back onto the field for the next drive. Let's go! Break the, Break the, the Buccaneers take it from the 23. Breaks free. The defense gets the sack. Got to give the defense a lot of credit here. You want to stop the offense from scoring here with under two minutes to go in the first half. Good pressure on the quarterback, and they take him down behind the line of scrimmage. Nickel formation here for the defense. We'll send it back to the quarterback out of the gun. And they get to him again. There's nothing worse to a quarterback than having an offensive lineman getting driven back in his way. That time the right side of the line collapses and it leads to a sack of the QB. There's a lot of extra weight out there for this jumbo set. The tackle is made, and that's a three-and-out series for the offense. All set to punt here.
looking to make a difference. That's a gain of six. The Packers offense ready now to see what it can do. The defense comes out of the nickel. First and ten. Going for the deep ball. What a catch. Touchdown. What a long, arching throw by the quarterback. So beautiful. See it spiraling in the air and right on the target for the touchdown. The Packers for the extra point. Inside of the upright. Rob Baronis lining up for the kickoff. He's got a chance to return this one. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. First down, offense readying for the snap. Takes the knee. That's the end of the first half. And you've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Fields the football at the eight. Head on, right there at the 20. The Buccaneers come onto the field for their next series. They come out in the dime package. First down at the 20. He's brought down at the 23-yard line. And now they'll try over again on second down. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. And he's taken down, but not until he picks up the first. Well, don't look at the scoreboard, which tells you you're down by a couple scores. Just concentrate on every single play and try to get another first down. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. First down at the 31. Handoff, out of the eye formation. Brought down by Mayo. Nice job that time by the defense. They were ready for the run. Nowhere for the running back to go. And they stop him for a short game. The Buccaneers have it at the 34. They're setting up screen. They're about four. Well, that's a nice completion by the offense. And what it does, it just puts them in a more manageable situation so they can pick up that third down. Third down coming up at the two-minute mark. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. There's going to be an injury timeout here. We'll take a quick break and be back in just a moment. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. The Buccaneers take it from the 38. Makes the catch, and he'll step out of bounds. I'm not going to disagree with the coach at all making that decision. Fourth and short, he just figures his offense. We can get this. Well, he was wrong. Now you hope the defense can come out there and stop him. A gain of 10. Defense calls a timeout. Second down. Double tight end formation. Will go ground. Still not taken down. Gets about nine on the play. Timeout called by the defensive unit. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. 
On this passing down, the Let's defense go. comes out in the nickel. Back to the ground now on first down. Brought down after a gain of six. And the timeout is called, so we're going to take a quick break and return in just a moment. That's second down coming up. Offense lines up here. <laughs> right back to him once more. And that gets the first down. Here in the second half, one look at these stats tells you. A big reason this team's on top today, they've been able to run the football. They have been physical all day long. It's just like this. You're in a fight. You're throwing body blows. They're working. Go. Why go to the head and go for the knockout? Don't do it. Stay to the body. That's what they've done on the offensive side. The offense is so close right here. They just need to show a little power and punch this in the end zone and get that touchdown. The defense is ready to plug up the middle here on the goal line. He's in the end zone. Touchdown. Well, that touchdown just put the icing on the cake, Jim. Whatever you want to say, because now the lead's too big. Not enough time for the other team to come back. Great job by the offense. The Packers with an extra point try on the way. And the extra point is good. The Buccaneers have really put themselves in a tough position now as they await kickoff. Scores 21 to 0. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. The Buccaneers are ready to take over now, and their offense heads onto the field. The defense comes out on the dime. Get ready. Get First and ten. And that picks up three. And here we have second down. They'll go to the hurry up here as the clock runs. And there's the spike. Third down. The Buccaneers are at the line of scrimmage with a spread formation from the shotgun. He's got the catch. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Going to go to the hurry up with under a minute to play. With about 30 seconds left, it's second down. Nickel formation for the defense here. Get ready. Break the air. Break the air. Dropping back now into the shotgun. Brings it into his body. They'll mark him at the 41. On the way, third down. Got the completion. He's brought to a halt. Play number six coming up on this drive. Going to the hurry up. Under a minute to go here. Second down now. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Launching it deep. Intercepted. The tackle was made. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made the interception. Face first down. The Packers call the timeout. They're first. First down coming up. Out of the shotgun formation. Looking to go down the field here. Almost intercepted. 
Well, Phil, I enjoyed the watching the game with you, and how about a final thought about that victory? Well, you know, Jim, I wish I could say the same, that I enjoyed spending these <laughs> last three hours with you, but that's just not the case. But, no, just kidding, of course. Nice win. They got to feel good about what they've done and uh, uh, celebrate a little tonight. I think I'll see you next week, maybe. today's game. Now as we go to the field, it's Jeremy Ross back deep for the kickoff. And Rob Baronis looks set now to kick it away. Turn here as he takes a knee in the end zone. Coming on to the field, the man armed with one of the strongest throwing motions in the entire league, Matt Stafford. Matt Stafford has shown many people that he has all the talent to get it done on the field, but what he's got to start doing now is leading the football team. You not only got to play well as a quarterback, but you got to lead the players and make them better too. Wow, looks like the defense encroached. First down on the way. Nickel formation for the defense here. Dropping back now into the shotgun. Wide open for the catch. And Tate is brought down. They've marched right onto the field with this opening drive, and they're moving the chains with regularity. They sure are, and I think it's time for the defense to quit sitting in there and that bland defense are running. Take a chance to try to stop this drive. Stafford with the give. Golden Tate drew a lot of free agent interest during the offseason. I think he should have, Jim, and he landed in Detroit. I think it's a tremendous pickup for the Detroit Lions. He is a tough wide receiver who can make the catches when defensive backs are all over him. I love the fact that the Detroit Lions picked him up in free agency. As we take a look at the defense for the first time today, these starters in the secondary will be challenged today in both the passing and running games. Calvin Johnson with the catch. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. This team, one of the better tackling teams in the NFL, and they play the situation perfectly. They give up the short completion. They come up and make the tackle. Now we have a fourth down. And here's a quarterback coming onto the field who has plenty of experience under his belt. Yep, there's no doubt. He is the man in charge, and, and he shows it just the way he handles himself. Uh, and that's why he plays so well. That's why he's in this game today. Out of the shotgun formation. And he hauls it in. I think we're seeing something we see with so many teams now in the NFL. Running backs who can do it all. This guy can run, block, and he can catch short passes and make long gains after it. Nice job. First down here after the completion. Go will run it. Here's the handoff. Dan picks up up out three. Here's the offensive line, which must protect its quarterback today. Offense lines up here. After the two-yard carry, it sets up second down and eight. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. That was made, and that'll move the chain. The back 
Auburn's offensive line is just whooping some tail today, aren't they? What a job up front. That helps the running back get in space, get down there, and pick up a big game. Offense lines up here. Let's go. First down at the 30. Throws to the right. No one was open. Anytime your receiver running any route in the NFL, they're worried about getting hit. Don't lead them too far in a slant route. Just throw it right at them. Offense lines up here. The Lions come out in the nickel. The Packers will take the snap from the 30. A takeaway. The tackle was made. Good job that time by the defense. Not being fooled, being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did, they got the interception. Bell is in the backfield. First down at the 19. Finds Tate. He'll pick up seven this time. Well, when you play in this cover three defense where three defenders are playing deep, that's great. You stop the deep passes. But who's going to stop the quick ones? Well, nobody. That's why the quarterback and the receivers are having really good success throwing these slant patterns. Snap it out of the gun. He'll fire it out to the left. Stiff arms to stay on his feet. Tackle at the 29-yard line. There's no doubt time of possession can be an overrated stat in games many times. But one thing you want to do, throw and catch it just like this and pick up those first downs and keep it going. First down at the 29. Set up screen. They'll mark him at the 29. Well, you can't play man-to-man, -man, Jim, every single play. Every once in a while, you got to throw in the zone. That's what they did this past play. Hey, it was a good idea. It just didn't work. Drop back, shotgun formation. Gets a hand in that time to force the incompletion. Boy, it must be hard just to knock the football down. That time he's in good position because you know the defender wanted to go for the interception, but he played it smart and knocked it down instead. Bell is in the backfield. The Lions have it at the 29. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. The Packers are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. And so now we'll call on Martin to punt the football away. Set up return. Here he goes. Games 16. The Packers are set for their next possession. Let's go. The Packers have it at the 29. Reaches out and snatches it. He is brought down at the 49-yard line. Nickel formation here for the defense. First down at the 49. And he's thrown to the ground. The Packers are going to use one of the two timeouts they have remaining. Coming up, second down. Offense lines up here. They'll go shotgun here. Makes the catch in open space. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. And the offense will call a timeout. It's third down coming up. The Lions will come out in the dime. He'll stand back beyond the center in the gun. Can't find the target on the pass underneath. Well, quarterbacks know on third down, they got to make a decision and get rid of that football because the defense... They are coming after you. That time, just not good enough. Let's he go. throws an incompletion. The Packers will take the snap from the 45. Launches it down the field. Incomplete. We've reached halftime, and we'll be sending it back to our studio and Larry Ridley as we continue with the NFL on EA Sports. And he's taken down right at
at about the 29, not quite to the 30. The Packers come out for the next possession. The Lions lined up in the nickel. Offense lines up here. They'll hike it to him out of the shotgun. Looking long. Incomplete. Almost going in the other direction. Well, the defense has to be depressed after that play because when you get a chance to get off the field, get a turnover, and get the offense off the field, man, you got to take advantage of situations like that. The defense comes out in the nickel. Offense lines up here. The Packers have it at the 29. You know, when you throw the football like that down the field, you pick up a first down, now you can do anything you want on the offensive side, and you got that You're defense right. guessing. First and 10. He's tackled right at the 48. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to, and also it opens up so many other things for your offense. Second and three. Here's the handoff. Able to make the tackle about two yards shy of the first. Well, a short gain on the run that time by the offense. When you're a running football team, listen, there's going to be a lot of ugly plays that don't work. You just got to keep running it. Third down and two. Play action. With two hands, he has it. Breaks out of that one. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. It's always good when your quarterback is able to deceive the defense with good play action fakes. That's what did it that time. Look at the quarterback. Nice fake. Defense reacts to the run, and now you throw it over the top for the easy completion. They'll mark him at the 34. The best way to keep the other offense uh, on the sidelines is just keep marching down the field and picking up those first downs. What a good job by the offense. The Packers have it at the 34. Good piece of tackling. That was a power running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. It's now second down and seven after the three-yard rush. Time becoming a factor in this game. He'll take the snap, the first here in the fourth quarter. Ansa's in on the tackle. Third down now. Tie game here in the late going, and the defense needs to make a stop. They cannot give up the big play right now. Good run that time. It results in a first down, and it moves those chains on the sideline. Keep those chains moving. Tire that defense out. Two minutes. Two minutes remaining in the game. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Two tight ends on the field here. Back to a middle. And it's Indomitong Sue who makes the tackle. When we were at practice on Friday, Jim, this team was working on red zone offense all the time. Well, here they are. It's a tie game. We'll see if all that practice pays off. What a drive this has been. Second down and five. They want to keep beating him the football. That brings the play to an end. The Lions defense will stop the clock here with under two to go as they want to preserve the clock. This has been a long drive so far. They feed it to him one more time. Nice tackle. The Lions will, of course, call the timeout now to stop the clock. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Mounting a serious drive. On first down, it's back to the ground game. The Lions in a tie game will call a timeout. They clearly want the ball back with a chance to do something. Play number 13 coming up on this drive. The long drive continues. Second and goal from the four. Touchdown at the end. Oh, it's a beautiful job. I still love seeing it when the offense can get down near the goal line and just run that football in there. Great job by the offense. Now let's see what the defense can do. The Packers for the extra point. 
The point after is good. So we've got a late lead change and a receiving team that will try to find a way to bounce back. The Lions are ready to receive the kick. Catches it at the two and starts his return. And they crash into him, ending the return at the 20-yard line. They come to the line of scrimmage, first down. First down, let's see what they come up with here. Stafford in shotgun formation. Matt Stafford gets it to Calvin Johnson. The Lions are at the line of scrimmage and out of timeouts here in the final quarter. Time continues to tick away as they'll rush back to the line. Well, the quarterback has no choice here. The clock is running. You don't have time to really call a play and execute one down the field. So you get in formation, spike the football, and stop that clock. There are no timeouts left. Stafford from the gun. The Lions get a first down, and he's tackled down after picking up the first. Now on first down, every snap's crucial the rest of the way. No timeouts now. They'll be in the hurry up. I agree with spiking the football here, Jim. You spike it, uh, you stop the clock, and it gives you time to have a little breather to think of the situation and call a good play in the huddle. Second and ten. He's looking to the right. Intercepted. Slides off the hit. That'll stop the play right there. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made the interception. They come to the line, and it's first down. Takes the knee. This will be second down. A pair of true defensive efforts out there today that stood out, but in the end, it's a win for one side, even though the offense did not come out impressively. When you see a low-scoring game like that, Jim, it means one thing usually. A lot of hard hitting. It was tough to score. Conditions were tough. Hey, no matter how you win, you are happy. What a memorable game this truly was. For Phil Simms, Danielle Bellini, and Larry Ridley, Jim Nance saying so long for now, and we leave you with the GMC Never Say Never moment of the game. for the opening kickoff. And Rob Baronis has this one teed up as we gear up for kickoff. And as he takes a knee, Romo will now bring his offense onto the field. Coming onto the field for the Cowboys is their leader, quarterback Tony Romo, who had back surgery and had to miss the final week of the regular season when the Cowboys were bidding for a playoff berth. Well, I'm kind of sick of hearing about, oh, well, how will Tony Romo do in the playoffs? You know, let's don't worry about the playoffs. What he's doing now is a lot of good stuff. This guy can throw with anybody in the NFL. Zone defense doesn't work in the NFL like it used to. Good job by the quarterback reading that zone and finding the open guy. Frank Gore is in the backfield. First and ten. They're going to get him here for a sack. 
the quarterback didn't hold the football. The left side of the line just, they just collapse. He doesn't even feel it or see it, and he goes down for the sack. After getting sacked, it's now second and 18. And there's Clay, and he's able to get out to the 34-yard line. When you run that drag route across the field, it is not as easy as it looks. You're running fast. You have to catch the football right in stride, and you cannot see what's in front of it. From the gun. Complete to Williams. The tackle's made, and the first down is picked up. Every quarterback in the NFL loves this coverage, where you got four defensive backs all playing deep. So in routes, anything across the middle, usually it's wide open. Good job of the quarterback taking advantage of the defense that time. Talk about the offense. Ruben Randall has gotten better every year in the league since coming out of LSU in 2012 as a second-round pick. This is going to be a breakout year for Ruben Randall. He's big, fast, and strong, as we talk about all the time. Those are great qualities, and he got better last year. Look at him. Here are the starters today on defense. Murray lined up in the backfield. Romo stepping back into the shotgun. Gets it out for the completion. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. Here's a quarterback who's been around for a long time, stepping onto the field for the first time today. Uh, yeah, that's right, a lot of success, and that's what you think of when you're a quarterback. You go out there, you think of good things. And when you've been in the league as long as he has, you've done a lot of good things, so there's no doubt he's confident. Gets the handle here. That's a gain of 10. Nice job that time by the ball carrier, getting it just past the first down mark. Big first down, keep the chains moving. First down here after the run. On this passing down, the defense comes out in the nickel. And incomplete. He was double covered that time. Let's set the lineups now for the offense. DeAndre Hopkins, a former first-round pick out of Clemson. He was a steal, Jim, with the 27th pick of the draft. Very productive last year. Tough, good blocker in the run game, and he can make those contested catches. It's a two-tight end formation. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. They bring him to the turf. The quarterbacks and receivers in this NFL now are so good. It's so easy for them to throw and catch and just keep picking up those first downs. Offense lines up here. The Packers take it from the 43. Here's the handoff and no running. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Good job by the offense. Gets another first down. You can tell by looking down on the field that defense hands on their knees. They are getting tired. They'll run with it again. He stacked up at that point. Play number six coming up on this drive. Second down, four to go. The reception, easy, wide open. Quarterbacks love play action passes, especially on first down, because the defense, sometimes they're expecting run, you fake it, easy completion down the field. We've reached the two-minute warning. First down here. After the long gain, let's see what they do here. Screen. Pass hits the ground and 
goes incomplete on the short throw. That pass never had a chance as it was knocked down at the line of scrimmage. Now, you, I got to blame the offensive line that time, Jim. You know, they are getting pushed back, so they're so close to the quarterback, and there's no way the quarterback has the room to maneuver and throw the football around the defensive lineman. So O-line, you just got to do a better job. It's getting harder and harder in the NFL to score when you're this close to the goal line. So what will the offense do? They, they better be creative. That's all I know. Goal line defense on the field. First and goal. Takes it. He is in for the touchdown. That was just an awful job, wasn't it, by the defense? I mean, it's first and goal. Well, you know it's going to be a run. Well, I think you should be playing run. The defense not ready. They get overpowered, and they give up the running touchdown. The Packers with the PAT to come. Extra point is good. Rob Baronis lining up for the kickoff. Harris elects to run it out just across the 20 and tackled at the 21. The Cowboys bring their offense back onto the field for their next drive. Nickel formation for the defense here. From the gun, Romo. And he's taken down. That's an excellent job by the defense. Just gets quick penetration in there. Hits the quarterback and gets the sack. That clock keeps moving. What a job by the defense in this situation. Romo has everybody split out wide for this snap. From the gun. Throwing now to his left. He's taken down at the 30. Third and short following the completion. Now the offense in the hurry up. From the shotgun. It's Clay. And that'll gain just a few yards. The Cowboys are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. Moore is in the backfield. First down at the 33. Looking to go deep. Man intercepted! In on the stop. Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. The Cowboys' defense now is going to go nickel. Reaches out and grabs it, and he is tackled at the 44. He'll take the snap from the gun, looking to the right side and throwing. Keeps his legs moving. That's the old expression, just move the chains. That's what they did with that throw and catch that time, Jim. It also gives them a chance for three more downs. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. The Cowboys defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. Had it for a moment, but the ball is knocked out incomplete. That's interesting as you watch the receiver trying to make that catch. He knew the defender was close. So he didn't put all of his heart into it. The defender made a nice hit and knocks the football out to the ground. Going for the home run. What a catch. Tackles made. The Packers signal for a timeout. They have two remaining. The offense has had time now to game plan, strategize after the timeout, and now they're ready to go. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to pack it up. Takes it from the gun. Almost intercepted that time. Lots of ways to attack cover two. There's no doubt about it. You can throw it underneath. You can pump fake the safeties. Make one of them move and still throw it deep down the field. Split backfield here. Split backfield here. Second down and ten. Short throw. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Out of the gun. In his hands, 
complete. Touchdown. I give all the credit to the wide receiver here. What a route. Pulled the defender. He is wide open. Nice throw by the quarterback for the touchdown. The Packers for the extra point. Add the extra point. The kick is good. The Packers will take their spot on the bench after contributing to the cause, especially via the passing game. Over 60 yards by the air. He'll take it from the one. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. It's first down as they head to the line. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Four. And he's brought to the ground. And it'll be second down and six after the running play on first down. That does it for the first half. Cowboys trail in this one. Bailey ready now to get the second half started. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. The Packers now will start their drive at the 23. Now first and 10. Handoff made. Fights through contact. And that's a gain of nine. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. Three, three, Nickel formation three, here for the three. defense. The Packers from the 32. Oh, it almost picked off that time. Every quarterback in the NFL is going to have one or two passes a game that can be picked off. Most of the time they're dropped, and this time that was a bad drop by the defense. Offense lines up here, third and short. They'll run it here. This offense can't be stopped on third down, no matter the distance. You know, everybody talks about the pass in the NFL. When it's third and short, you got to man up and be tough and strong. Nice job that time by the offensive line. They let the running back get in there and pick up the first down. First down at the 42. Gets it again. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. The Packers offensive line will be whooping it up tomorrow when they watch this play in the field room. What a good job by them. Excellent planning and awesome execution. Offense lines up here. The defense comes out of the nickel. Out of the shotgun. Airing it out. And it falls incomplete. Just not a good decision by the quarterback. I mean, maybe on the sidelines they keep calling the wrong plays, but he's attacking the strength of this cover two defense. Don't do that. Throw where they're not. That's deep down the middle. Offense lines up here. gun looking long touchdown Green Bay Packers never be satisfied the NFL players are just too good so when you get a chance to score even though you're leading take advantage of it awesome job by the coordinator on those play calls the Packers for the extra point he made it. The Cowboys will now be in an even deeper hole here as they get ready to return the kick. Scores 21 to 0. The Cowboys are ready to run back this kick. This will be coming out to the 20 as he thinks better of running it out of the end zone this time. The Cowboys getting set now for their next series. Tony Romo will take it right from the center. 
First down and 10. And the give to Frank Gore. And this will end up as a two-yard loss. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Second down coming up. On this passing down, the defense comes out in the nickel. Tony Romo is going to take it from the shotgun. Complete to Williams. Good job that time by the quarterback. Looks down the field. Nobody opens, so he throws the drag route. Coming across the field, and it's a nice catch. Just short of the first down. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. That's been the story of this game. Another third down conversion to move the chains. Well, one of the hardest things to do, and I think, in the NFL now is third short is run the football and pick up yards. That time, nice job by the offensive line. They showed their power, and they picked up the first down. Get ready. Get ready. First and ten. He's going to get another carry. They break through. Tackle him behind the line. Got to give the defense some credit. On first down, there's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. This should be the last play of the quarter. The Cowboys take it from the 38. It's Mayo in on the tackle. This is third down. Romo lines up in the pistol. The final quarter underway now with this snap. And now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. There has been good pass protection for the quarterback all day long. He has not been sacked much, and he throws it there and gets another completion. Frank Gore is in the backfield. First and 10. Setting up screen underneath, but can't find the mark that time as the pass goes incomplete. Second down after the incompletion. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. The defense gets a sack. Jim, you can't tell the difference between the quarterback and the center. They're both retreating about as fast as you can go. That time the center gets run over, and it leads to a sack of the QB. Nickel formation for the defense here. Romo stepping back into the shotgun. Throws to the right. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. The Cowboys in the pistol formation. Ball's picked up. Good job that time by the defense. Not being fooled, being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did, they got the interception. First down here. Time enough to squeeze in one more play before the two-minute warning here in the fourth. Gets about four yards that time. Two minutes to go in the second half. Second down here after that run play. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. They'll go ground. Tackles made, and the first down is picked up. I think the coach on the sidelines, he's going to be happy with every first down because he knows that's more time off the clock. When you're up like this, multiple scores in the second half, every first down just puts the odds in your favor of winning this game. First down at the 48. Throws the stiff arm out to the right. He is tackled right at the 50. Well, I know it's not going to make a highlight film, but still a good solid run up in there for a couple yards. An extra tight end on the field for this one. Second and eight. Another handoff right back to him. And that's a big time tackle that keeps them three yards short of the first down marker. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. Go, go. 
The Packers will take the snap from the 45. Manti Teo makes the tackle. Good job by the offensive line there on third and short. Even though the defense knew it was probably going to be a run, still able to get in there and barely get that first down. Go, go, go. 